welcome back to my channel ladies and gentlemen of the woods it's been a while since i posted my last video but it's been a crazy end of the year full of projects and some beautiful news about my private life so i couldn't been able to come up with all the videos that i had in mind so i hope you understand that now let's get back to the video did it ever happen to you to wake up in the middle of nowhere not knowing where you exactly are because you lost the gpx signal and you are alone that's what happened to me in iceland it's been a crazy journey so guys here it's midnight uh, i lost the gps signal uh, so the only chance uh, to to don't get really lost is to go back until i will get the network signal again so that's the only game I can play now. Life doesn't always go as planned. I truly believe in these words, and the adventures I take always follow this same principle. But I think that the unexpected is what spice up our journeys a little bit. The unexpected delights of keeping an open mind. Several times the unexpected led me to the most amazing places, to the most astonishing views, or a unique situation that nourished my soul. The unexpected helped us to create such powerful memories. Curiosity and exploration pretty much go hand in hand when it comes to travel. Curiosity is the key to guide my exploration in a unique way for the purpose of understanding something about some place. That's why I never plan everything. I felt that when I've tried to plan every moment of my travels, I was losing freedom. And another very important aspect that makes my journey more interesting and worth living. I usually pick up a destination, check what weather I'm gonna face, the terrain I have to go through, how many days, and choose carefully the gear I'm going to bring with me that always change according to the first four aspects. Every country is different, you have to be adaptable. Sometimes you just need a backpack fully geared up and strong legs. Sometimes you need a 4x4 or both. Who knows? Iceland has been one of my favorite dream location science years. And during March 2021, I have decided that Iceland had to be the next one. The pandemic didn't help that much, but once I've heard that Iceland's border were about to open, that was the right moment. And here I am. Iceland is not only rainbows and unicorns. To make the story short, I almost drove 6,000 kilometers, of which almost 2,500 kilometers on half roads. Three hikes a day in 20 days, <laughs> it's been a hell of a ride. And you know what? I love the time spent on dirt roads. Challenging myself is something that I'm definitely not an expert and learning by doing. Despite Iceland can be very crowded of tourists, there's always a chance to enjoy the environment without being disturbed by anyone. Iceland is a vast area with lots of unique things to see in every corner. And even the same mountain range always look different according to the time and the weather. Iceland has the most beautiful scenery I ever seen. And now I understand why people keep coming back in this country. It's a kind of addiction. An addiction to the beautiful mountains, 
to the immense deserts, to all the powerful glaciers you can explore, to the inhospitable volcanic areas or the arch sea that surrounds the entire highland. Explore, learn, repeat. Exploration is a powerful learning process for all of us. Do it as much as you can at any level because curiosity is the most important power we can nourish every day. So explore, learn, repeat, dear friends. I always found in solitude a warm, comfortable shelter. Solitude is a blessing, not a curse. We live in a state of relentless connection. When we are not connecting physically, we connect compulsively through social media. Solitude is essential in the process of creation. Whether it's working on your craft or a marvelous thought that you are trying to master, locking yourself away for some time will leave you and your mind alone to do something purposeful fondly. Connection are very important to me but I've learned that it's important to welcome solitude and connect with myself with equally as much excitement in order to have an intimate relationship with my mind and to produce quality work. If we can reverse the fear of being isolated, we can turn it into a tool for development and be happier and more creative as a result. This journey in Iceland gave me all of that. It's been a blessing. Iceland weather can be very unpredictable and this make cold garment and rain gear very important to keep the core temperature. I've never been a fan of ponchos despite its multifunctionality, so I tend to prefer a rain jacket and a good pair of rain trousers when I travel through this kind of environment. It's very important to have a rain protection in the eye hand range. And as I always say in these moments, buy once, cry once. Do you agree?
ice. As the ancient glacier spread, they carved and changed the Earth's surface, creating many of the landscape that exists today. Iceland 11% of the land is covered by ice. There are 10 glaciers in Iceland. I had the chance to visit only 4 of them due to the weather and the limitation due to the type of basic 4x4 I rented. There's a mystical feeling around these ancient masterpieces. A true powerful but silent scenario that filled my mind with peace and serenity. I will never forget those moments. The natural magnificence of these glaciers is all the persuasion necessary to understand the importance of combating global warming. Not just for the sake of Iceland environment, but for our planet and our responsibility towards it. Have you ever been to a glacier? I would love to know your thoughts about what you felt that day you were in front of this masterpiece. Thank you guys. Fire. Fagradasfjall volcano was inactive during the last day I planned to visit it. It was the end of my 20 days trip and I was worried to miss the chance to see it in action. When I reached the parking lot it was still dormant, but I had faith. I hiked up on the mountain that led me to the volcano. Some rambling sound was coming from the top of the mountain and that got me so excited. And once I reached the top, the volcano started its show. Unbelievable. As the eruption began, smoke formed a cloud and darkened the sun. The hot lava was really hot, but I spent the entire night admiring the fabulous show. There were rangers all around the volcano, they were checking the gas level for safety reasons, of course. Plus, an helicopter was flying back and forth up on my head. It was like being in an apocalypse movie. Amazing. After this experience, volcanic areas became one of my favorite environments and I promised myself that I will visit more volcano around the world. So much beauty in the world but not enough time to see all of it. I won't waste any second of my life and I will keep sharing as much as I can with all of you. That's my promise. I truly hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, Iceland can be very moody, romantic and quiet, but it can also be very dangerous. If you are planning to go to Iceland, rent a 4x4, a true one for your safety. That's it for today and see you in the next video.